We've got a Vertigo exclusive for you tonight. A young man, if you'd believe, is stuck in the 90s. And we thought we could help. This is Michael Zachras reporting, and we'll be with you in a minute. I became good friends with Justin in the later years of high school, year 12, um, when this whole phase sort of really hit its stride. It was pretty cool at first. Um, but these days, you know, two, three years on, it takes a toll on you. I met Justin in my first year of uni and I found his 90s style really cute and endearing. But as the trimester quickly progressed, it all became too much. The double denim turned into triple, quadruple denim. And it soon became not so much about the fashion, but a lifestyle. I tried to take him out to parties, you know, get him introduced into people. I can't pick up girls. He managed to be Snake Emily, but that was just an absolute fluke. I have no idea what she's doing with him. Earlier this week, which is the third time, uh, this month, I walked in on him just staring at his Buzz Lightyear doll and I've asked him about it and he is just convinced that it is going to come to life eventually and, you know, man, he's, he's like 20. The other night I thought we had a breakthrough. He surprised me with tickets to a concert and I thought, this is it, he's finally realising that he's in the 21st century. But then we got there and it was an S Club 7 tribute band. He got the uh, recently released Spyro uh, the other day, um, and that's just all he plays. It's not even two player. I just sit there watching him run around as a dragon, try to introduce him to COD. I went COD 4, you know, I went pretty old at first to sort of ease him into it. The violence just scares him, the realism, he, he can't handle it. I just, I don't know what to do anymore. We've been to couples counselling and psychologists. I'm just one frost to tip away from leaving him. I don't think we helped at all. 